Good afternoon. Ira Epstein of Linden Associates with your Metals Market Update. And this is your weekend edition for Friday, the 29th of March, 2019, getting on to 2.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Now, remember, on the weekend edition, we're going to do one chart that's a monthly. The rest are going to be weekly, which is a lot different than doing our daily chart. <coughs> I have terrible allergies, so if I cough, I'm sorry. It's not a cold first day in Chicago that I'm getting an allergy attack. So it's a sign of spring. So where are we? You know, moments ago, I was watching an interview with uh, Larry Kudlow. He's calling that the, he and the president think that there would be nothing wrong with a 50 basis point cut. And he made it very clear. They're not trying to influence. I mean, he really stepped back on everything, but he made a good argument. Productivity's up, wages are up, full employment, no inflation. Growth gets rid of problems. If you see the interview, you can go on CNBC. It was a great interview. Take a look. Okay, so let's talk about the metal markets. I took off my metal report this afternoon. I'll put up another one soon, but it was pretty darn good, I think, because we were looking at a time frame and for the market to get a pullback in it and say la vie. It's what the market's been under. So let's go to the charts of gold and get a feel for where we're at. The rally up that we had Leading into this week, the question was, would the market be able to get up to the 100-week average at 1354 and 1367, the upper Bollinger Band? And this is a monthly chart. And what the market decided to do was pull back. It didn't quite get to the 18-month moving average at 1276, but it did hit 128080. Momentum has stalled. You see this? If I come back to last week, this is what you call pointing up. Now it's arcing on you. That does not mean if it takes out in April this month's high. Remember, this is a weekend where we end the quarter, we end the month. If it takes out that high, you will change this chart. It will suddenly have higher lows. And then if you took this out, you'd have a higher high. Now, if we come here, 1344 is the high here. This high was 1365.40. Let's talk about the chart pattern. If the chart pattern turns up, just taking out this month's high, I have a higher low. Unfortunately, I have lower highs, no matter how it goes, unless you take out 1365.40. When I look at a weekly area chart of closes, you can see you've got a down thrust, how the market's just sinking away right now, not dramatically. And the big support for the market is probably that 1287.60 level, if you can get there, the 18-week moving average of closes. When we come to a weekly bar chart, you're having what's called an outside week down. Now, when you get an outside week, it's very important because my rule, and this we're talking what I teach in my charting course, if you take out the high of this week, next week, or the week after. What happens is, I call it a bear trap, and often the market goes to the closest if it's above it a moving average or the Bollinger Band top. As the market's coming down, the first thing I look for is where are the moving averages? So, look at the 18-week moving average. The low, 1286.10 on the weekly chart, 1287.80, that's where the market is right now. Any way you want to cut it, the number held the market on this particular leg of the break. The next leg of the break, as interesting as can be, we were just looking at the monthly chart, a 1274 number, and look at this, the 100-week average is there also. But the swing line is down, the bias is up because you closed over the 18-week average. The Bollinger Band, if you take out this high, is back up in the 1346 level in the way that I teach charting. If that high is taken out this week or next week, it becomes an active target wherever that number comes in. Momentum is down. Momentum often leads price. It's pointing down. Prices have fallen. So now the question is, we're out of a trend. There's none. While the swing line is down, it's countered because you closed over the 18-week average. We're in no man's land. When I come to the gold-silver ratio, it sort of peaked out right here in the 85 and a half, 86 level. And when you come to the gold ETF, you've got lower highs, lower lows. Same identical thing as the futures. You went down this week, you've made a low of 121.71. The 18-week average is 121.68. I think it's close enough to say that you're there. <clears throat> 
You have an outside week down, momentum is down, but you did close over that 18 week average. Therefore, even though the swing line is down, it gets countered because the bias is up. If you take out the 18 week, the 100 week is waiting for you. <coughs> GDX on the weekly charts is still in an uptrend. It has divergence, however, let me explain that. You do have higher lows and higher highs, absolutely. On this leg, so far you haven't been able to get back up to the upper Bollinger Band and leading the parade is this, momentum pointing down. When you get momentum going one way, price action the other, be careful. Momentum is often a leading indicator of price. In the silver market, you're in a downtrend. You've got the lower highs, the lower lows. You closed under the 18-week average. You do not have an outside week down, so nothing there that I could call in a trap. <coughs> Excuse me. Momentum pointing down. Now, what would turn the market? Don't take out 1492 and take out 1552 and you could end up right now with higher lows and higher highs. You've already got the downtrend going, taking out 1492 and not reversing up just keeps the bears in play. <coughs> Excuse me. In the copper market, we're fighting at the 100 week average of closes. It's not new. We've been fighting it. If you're watching my videos during the week, one of the things I was saying to you is if you were watching copper when the stock market was trying to break and other markets around it, it was staying strong or rallying. Why would it break in front of Steve Mnuchin and Robert Heiser going to China? That was the question. And today the market up pretty good for the week you're up nine cents. I didn't see the logic, but we're not in a trend. You've got lower highs, lower lows. Yeah, that's downtrend, but it's countered because you've stayed over the 18 week average and momentum is just waffling right here. In the platinum market, we got up and if you look at this high, 876.70 and this high was 879.90. So what the chart now has, lower highs and higher lows. The resistance is fairly evident at the upper Bollinger Band. If that gave ground, the 100 week average is waiting. The support in the market's back at 816.70 and the momentum is still pointing up. So I would think the bulls would probably be looking at the 816.70, but my problem as a trader, when I have lower highs and higher lows, I don't call that a trend. In the palladium market, <clears throat> For those of you that watch this, you know in the daily charts, I think we did a pretty good job of warning about what was going on. The market changed its character on this chart. The weekly doesn't show what the daily did. But once you took out 1489, the market let go for a couple of hundred dollars an ounce. Yes, the market for all purposes with the 1345 finish is underneath the 18 week. So we'll call the bias down, not a trend and momentum turned down. The big question that you're going to hear people ask, have we popped the bubble in the palladium? And at this point, it certainly looks like it. In the dollar index, I don't see a trend. I see you caught in sideways action with a higher high, lower low, basically fighting at this 18 week average of closes and you've been doing it since December. You don't get a lot of follow through up, a lot of follow through down, a lot of misery for traders that have been looking for a trend and they're not getting it. So one of the things I help you with and it helps me also is in the morning the first thing I do is a subscriber video. I even installed now in my home a lot of the gear so if I want to wake up 5, 5.30 in the morning and put these out this coming week I'm going to be able to do that. And I want to get them earlier. I try to get them now a full hour earlier than I used to do. I review at least 40 charts and with ETFs, it's about 45. And what I do is I'm hoping you have a cup of coffee. I've got one next to me when I'm doing this. And I start reviewing the markets just by charts for you with all this covered. And what I do is I, I do the same sequence all the time. And the reason is if you want to grab with your cursor and pull the bottom of the recording, you can get to the area you want in the charts. I realize 45 charts is a lot, so we make it easy. Unlike this video that we're doing right now, one of the things that I'm able to do is give you absolute buy, absolute sell, where I'd be wrong, where I'm right, telling you put in an order here, do this, do that. The reason I can do that there, not here, is it's a subscriber video. 
and in the subscriber video, I can say buy, sell. These public videos that are on YouTube and other areas, I'm not allowed to do that. You have to have a user ID and password and I have to be able to protect it. I want to keep my broker's license and that's the rules and I'm paying attention to the rules. There'd be no sense in breaking them. In terms of chart action, I'm going to give you all the little secrets and everything I've learned. As of this September, I'm 50 years in this business. You can see now active traders. I'm going to tell you what I think the pros are doing. Trade ideas, where you go. So in the morning, the idea is to start you off early. This is intentionally very inexpensive. 26 cents a day for you to try it. No contract with you. Just give it a go. If you like it, you can either buy a one year uh, subscription for $156 for the year up front, or you can go month to, not it's not month, it's 30 days at a time for $15 after the intro. Might offer you a trading idea, because if you're like me, you're always saying, gee, I wonder what this guy thinks. I cannot tell you how many people walk into my office during the day with trade ideas. Let me provide you with some of mine. I'm I. Repstein, you can call us, you can go to our website. If you go to the website, go under education or research, go to Iris Morning Subscriber video, Everything there you need, sign up. We'll have you on everything come Monday. Have a great weekend.